And welcome back to another episode of Ted Talk Stamps. I am the host, Ted the Talking Stamp Collector. And today I've got another swap and research challenge. This time, it's not with a, another YouTuber, but with Darren Lettinga of the web blog, uh, Definitively Stamps. Since this is not the usual uh, reciprocal video format. I've skipped the usual formalities of showing the trip to the post office and getting the postmark. But here is a picture of me st sticking my letter in the Dropbox to him. So, and this is what I sent him. A souvenir sheet from Algeria showing the bridges of Constantine. And I will let him explain to you the significance of the bridges. Go to his blog and read all about it. I put the link to his blog in the description below. Meanwhile, I've gotten his letter. And since I had to scrap the first take of this video, it's already open and I've got the sheet ready right here. This is, well first, save that. He added this nice extra, a set from Korea. Oops, there's four stamps on a strip, and there are four strips. Oh, goodness. <laughs> All right, there you go, that's one. And these are showing like uh, various uh, Korean crafts like uh, tables, clothing, uh, here's some lamps, really nice looking set. But that's not what I'm supposed to research. What I have to research is, and you'll be the first to see, I haven't even looked at it yet. It is this, which is what? Sorry, let me put my close-up lenses on. Special postage stamp for Philatelic Week. And it shows some kind of plant. I'm not a botanist, so I cannot tell you what it is. And I'm not a Korean linguist, so I can't read it to you. So I'll have to look it up, research it, and I'll get back with you on what I find. See you in a while. And just like that, I'm back. So let's take another look at this souvenir sheet and see what we've got. But first, let me introduce you to the new assistant I recruited. This is Emily. Hello. And would you care to narrate the story of this stamp for us? Sure, I'd love to. First off, Ted, to correct your earlier statement, it does not depict a flower but an eggplant. Above the plant we see a couple of moths, and down on the ground we see an oriental long-nosed locust. This painting is titled in fact, Eggplant and Oriental Locust, by the 16th century artist, poet, and calligraphist Shin Seinbong. In the lower margin of the souvenir sheet we see the inscription 1993, and at the top, it says special postage stamp for Philatelic Week. So let's start our narrative here. What is Philatelic Week? Philatelic Week is a week-long celebration of philately which was started in 1973, and is operated by the Ministry of Communications. The big event of the week is Korea's National Postage Stamp Exhibition. Other events that take place are, Philatelic seminars for teenagers, a philatelist convention, and autograph sessions with stamp designers. The design on this stamp for 1993 features a painting by Shin Sein Dong. This was the first in a series of paintings by this artist that was used for the Philatelic Week issues. Her art was also used on the issues for the next five years, 1994 to 1998. So, what is extraordinary about this woman? Besides her reputation as an artist and poet, she is held in the highest esteem as a model of mothering and filial piety. 
that is, the dutiful respect of children toward their parents. She raised seven children of her own, while also caring for her aging parents. The task of caring for elderly parents would normally fall upon the eldest son, but all four of her siblings were girls, and she took on the task herself. In between taking care of all these children and her parents, she managed to practice her arts. Nobody knows her legal given name. Her name Sinbong is a Chinese name, either she adopted as a pen name, or a pet name given to her by her father in honor of the mother of the Chinese King Wen, who was revered as a model wife and mother. Her talent was apparent at a young age, and she came to be favored by her father. Having no son, on whom the privilege of an education would normally be bestowed, her father provided her with an excellent education. She viewed her art, poetry, and calligraphy, as fruits of her education which were her duty to produce. Her paintings are noted for their exquisite and delicate beauty, and she is credited with originating the genre of paintings depicting plants and insects, as seen on our subject stamp. As a woman, though, she did not rate having a signature seal used to sign artwork, so her works have been difficult to trace. Under the Confucian society, she was recognized solely for her one great contribution to society, her son Yi Yi, who became one of the great Confucian scholars and philosophers. 500 years later, Saindong is still revered in Korea. A street in Seoul is named after her. A bronze statue of her is placed in Sajik Park in downtown Seoul, and there is even a line of cosmetics under the Saindong brand. In 2009, the government honored her with being the first woman to appear on a Korean banknote. And each year, the Saindong Award is bestowed upon the woman who best exemplifies professional success, combined with excellent motherhood. Now, is she a great woman or what? I really enjoyed learning about Shin Saindong. And I thank Darren for sending those stamps. And I'm also eager to look up the story behind the other uh, set that you sent me. And if this video has piqued your interest in Korean stamps at all, you should know that the Korea Stamp Society has free membership. And you can find the link to their website down below in the description. So thanks again for watching. And until next time, happy stamping!